Hi. Well, let's try another round of this. Can you identify these guns? Here I've got um, two double action revolvers, a double action, single action automatic pistol, and a single action revolver. So let's have a look at them here and see if you can figure out what they are. This one ought to be pretty easy to identify. Uh, maybe not the caliber, but the rest of it should. Uh, the model should be the make and the model should be pretty obvious to most people. This one here is something that you don't see every day. And just for a little hint, the grips and the rear sight are not original to this gun. Now this one here is an older gun, maybe a little hard for some people to identify. And of course those bone grips are not original to the gun. But the rest of it is original. And then this one here. But anytime you think you need a little more uh, time to think about it, you can pause the video anytime. Think about it a little more. I'm not going to make the video terribly long, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the answers now. This one here, of course, is a stainless steel Ruger Blackhawk. But one thing that does make it uh, kind of unusual is the caliber. Chambered for 10 millimeter. And it is a convertible one. Has a extra cylinder for 40 Smith & Wesson. Now this one is a Smith & Wesson automatic, third generation. And this one is also a 10 millimeter. It's a model 1006. Let's see if we can get the markings to show up here. Now this little Magnum J frame Smith & Wesson here is a Model 60. One of the newer Model 60s is beefed up a little bit with the Magnum J frame chambered in 357 Magnum. And this one here by far is the oldest one of the bunch. See if we can get all the marking to show up there. You got it's a Colt, a little Colt emblem here. And this is an officer's model target, chambered in 22 long rifle. And these are real bone grips on there, they're not plastic grips. I don't know when those were put on there. Uh, but anyway, there you've got another round of it, and put down in the comments how well you did. I want to do an end of video shout out, and this one's for the lighthouse lady. And I'll put a link to the channel in the description of the video. If you get a little chance, go check it out. Thanks for watching.